in California today, the shops are closed. It's like we're falling back into quarantine. And um, yeah, it's not looking so good. So, you know, when my hair gets too much, I start looking like a scarecrow. So, apologies in advance. But today we're not here to talk about my hair or the situation that is pretty much out of hand in the world today. Today we are talking about getting yourself organized. As a filmmaker, you know, you want to keep your files, your data, your projects organized when you work. And there's no better way to do it than with this. The one big lazy 16 gig hard drive, which is uh, Thunderbolt 3 powered, which also does some other stuff and can make life easy for you, sort of to keep chaos away from your system. I call it Big Mama Lazy, and that's what we're talking about today. Coming up. Okay, welcome back guys. If you're new to this channel, it will be my pleasure to have you on board. You can go ahead and subscribe to the channel because here we do music movies and uh, short films, tech reviews and the whole nine entertainment basically. If you like to watch movies or you like to learn how to make movies, then this channel is for you. So hit the subscribe button and let's get onto it. Let me see, I can find only, only these ones. I pretty much have these drives <laughs> hanging everywhere around in the office. You know, they're like two terabytes, two terabytes, two terabytes, everywhere. But funny enough, you can only use one when you're working in Final Cut Pro. Well, to the best of my knowledge, you can only use one hard drive for a project. And some of my projects gets way above two terabytes. The hard drive is already filled or well, almost full and then when I start editing you know the files add up and add up and have barely any for a while now barely any project I'm, I'm, I'm working on that I don't get to have to like you know switch hard drive so I have to start all over again and assign a new hard disk to that project and um, I mean when this happens you pretty much lose most of your data, sometimes you lose some files, some um, grades, sometimes you lose some sequence that you already, you already edited, might, you might just lose it because you're trying to switch from one hard disk to the other. I have about eight of them right now, which is pretty much the 16 gig that I got in one unit. Um, but yeah, they, they fill up fast. I don't want any piece of that anymore. And so I had to get this, um, one big mama lacy, as I call it, and um, it's been a lifesaver, it's been a game changer for me all along. My editing process is now a smooth one, ongoing projects, I switched over to this hard drive now. Right now, you know, for a few weeks now, it's been like, you know, I've been able to take control over my files, and this is what we pretty much wish for the country, for the world here today. Reduce the chaos as much as possible, and, um, you know, that's what I've done with my data, with my files. Yeah, I would highly recommend it. If you want to get serious with your filmmaking career, filmmaking business, um, corporate jobs and stuff like that, you want to keep, you want to do your files in the best, highest resolution possible. And then you want to have enough space to manage and process these files and get the best results. Even though I have 16 gig lying around, it is not one 16 gig that is easily accessible. It's not really pricey. Um, it's about 600 bucks, 670, I think, you know, but I had to settle for it because um, it's still way cheaper if you check it out. The Lazy, Big Mama Lazy is connected to the wall and my computer is not. So with that power cable, it is able to transmit power to the computer and it saves me some management, um, cable management problems here. And speaking of cable management, 
I have a, a video coming up soon. If you've been subscribed to this channel, you know that this is, you know, pretty much not the same settings and uh, arrangement at the office. Um, we both rearranged and got in some new stuff. So uh, watch out for the um, cable management video when by the time I'm true, I'm still work in progress. I'm not done yet. So cable management is big, it's huge. You want to have your cables neat, you know, hiding and you know not visible to the eyes. Everything is connected. The cables are almost not visible right now, but we still got we still have just a little bit more to go. And uh, when I'm done, I'll make a video about uh, cable management. Yeah, that Thunderbolt three from the lazy takes care of that and we don't have to worry about uh, much cable hanging around um because of this uh, thank you tv that i got which is the 424 model um in another video i'll talk about why i got this but this one doesn't have a usb c type c which could be power which could have been powered from the thunderbolt you know I'm gonna get eventually I'm gonna get another system that is USB uh, compatible and so with that I won't have uh, to run a v, um, VGA card or wire which is run through now to that if I upgrade the the monitor as soon as I upgrade the monitor everything looks like spotless like where are the cables are you connected yes they are the computers are on you know so which is always uh, lovely to have but most of all it will make your workflow you know nicer it will give you save you the headache of data storage and all that and all these guys can can just be backups like finished project and then keep them away so far so good it's been pretty neat uh, as long as i'm not shooting a feature this year i should be able to run with that one for another year what you have if your projects are not that uh, tasking and um, one terabyte is enough to do your project stick to that you know but have it in mind that as you grow you will need to invest in stuff like that and um this one i will i can highly recommend god i should have done this a long time ago i should have so basically what comes in it let me take a look um the speed is uh, 280 megabytes per second it works with uh, both mac and pc um but i have mine optimized for mac you know it has uh, security which is uh, by kes keshin tin um lock compatible uh, it has a da daisy chain connect up to five Thunderbolt 3 devices and a high resolution display which is what I have connected to that now uh, USB 3.1 I thought 3.0 and then USB-C so 3.1 USB 3.1 as well as the USB-C it's got cooling it's got a fan with advanced internal thermal shielding for optimal performance uh, however it, it gets warm with California sun, you know. I would advise it. Right there, there's a tiny fan behind. You know, when it gets home, because my, my window is open now, I took off the blinds. Because I just kind of feel the view during the day is lovely when it's not sunny, when it's not really hot. So I just um, turn on the air in the house and then keep that fan on for that guy. You know, and I'm good. But I know I noticed that since I took this off, it's you know the inspiration level has just bumped up. Like it's just like there's something I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. But when I took this off, it was like I took out a big veil in my eyes, like <sighs> breath of fresh air. But it also brings heat, excessive heat. So plus this is California, so you want to get a fan even though it doesn't get extra hot that is however my darling mama lacy it's got too much of data and information and files that i don't want to mess around with so i give it extra fan the fan the fan is the fan is about 
11 dollars 10 or 11 dollars something like that i'll put all the links in the description but if you're going with this you want to invest in that as well because you don't want some canon arrow 5 issues to show up in your computer if you turn off your computer it goes to sleep as well if you turn on your but as soon as you turn on your computer the machine turns on which is good you know even though it's connected it stays off until it gets instructed by the computer to you know it's time to work uh, it comes with some extra cables which i won't be needing for now so it's about this long ninja 5 and the sony F mp battery long then it's about this wide not exactly the full length wide something like this wide it, it's, it can be easily mobile too but you know i won't i won't be taking it around i will let it that sit and use all these ones um to move around locations and um, transfer files and stuff like that and then when we come out here we dump and start working so as soon as you can as soon as it's com comfortable you want to get organized and get uh, upgrade to a larger file for uh, there's a four gig version um it's about the same box size it looks about the same 4 gigs, um, 8 gig and 16 gig. I just went for the 16 because um, why not? Like I said, links will be in the description. And um, don't forget to watch out for my cable management video. Um, the studio tour, studio workstation setup when I take you on the tour around the finished project and the new office view. Um, all that and more will be coming up on this channel so you might want to subscribe and uh, like comment if you did subscribe today i guess i'll see you on the next video bye